have really great sponsors who help make our show possible, like Foothill Transit. But now, yeah, well, I want to talk about Morning last Bus. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week yeah. we had Antonia Harrison on board. You know the and the two thirty dudes. The other and half. Now we have your other dude. Yes, <laughs> right. I'm the other other half of the yeah. two thirty dudes. Are That's you right. the better half? I'm the better half. Yeah, You're the better half. I'm like at least sixty percent of he it. He said yeah. the same uh, thing on that. Uh, oh, did he? Yeah, oh, he said, I see. I see. <laughs> so. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do and, you know. Yeah, so we've got this podcast. We've been going for about a year and a half now. And we do different kinds of shows. We do ones where we find human interest type stories and kind of tell someone else's story through our platform. But we also do history ones where we find an interesting piece of history, maybe something less known. And we try to make it fun and lighthearted and accessible. Very good. Yeah. Very good. And you touch on a little bit of politics. We do from time to time. Absolutely. Well, you know. Sarah Palin's in the uh, right. news, yes. uh, endorsing Trump. Officially. Endorsing Trump. I don't know if that's good or bad. What do you think? I mean, uh, honestly, in a normal election year, I'd probably think it was bad. But this year, who knows, right? Everything's, Everything's up for grabs, table, right? Yeah, you know? exactly. It's a whole different game. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It really is. So go. yeah, who knows? Who knows? It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the fact that. You know, she, she's got a lot of, you know, backers, evangelists, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, that, that could be a good thing. But, you know, the whole Sarah Palin. I mean, she's I'm, a love-hate kind of personality. I'm sure Saturday Night Live is going to have a nice, good skit on this <laughs> one, you know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Saturday yeah. Night, definitely. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So, um, you know, Sarah and, and Trump, Trump's leading in the polls again. And, I mean... Uh, He's just taken a command of everything. So, do you think Sarah actually bumped him up again, or what? I do. He was already kind of taking a lead in Iowa, I think, with because uh, Ted Cruz is kind of anti-ethanol, which is huge out of Iowa, right? right? So, I think Donald was already kind of taking the lead, and Sarah Palin's got a following. You can't deny that, at she least. She does. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. It was about a month or so ago. I went went on camera and I and I said, Donald Trump, President, Cruz, Vice President. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but... Uh, what do you Boy, that would be interesting. If Trump won, who do you think he would have this? I think it probably would be Cruz, honestly. Oh, uh, no. No, come on. Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah, they're... Seriously. They're really good friends. They're that's like, oil I, and vinegar yeah, right there. They go there. way back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, 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 they're like BFFs on, the, uh, on Twitter and stuff, mm -hmm. don't they? I was wondering maybe if he would, he would bring his daughter, Ivanka, on as vice president. He is a big fan of his daughter. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. She's no. a girl, uh -huh. woman. Right, right. Be politically correct, Mary. Exactly. <laughs> so how, what are some of the other hot topics right now? We've had some issues with lead in the water too, right? Yeah, in Flint, in Flint, Michigan. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. And Well, I think we're going to be talking about that on a different segment. Oh, okay. Well, we'll save it for tomorrow. All right. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> about the elections though what other um, big big stories are taking place on either side I, I find it very interesting how much traction Bernie's also getting too well Clint, uh, Hillary and and she's fallen in the polls yeah he's giving her he's moving up he's giving so. her a run for her money absolutely Burn. yep she's got he's got a following <laughs> yeah he's got a following yeah. he does and, uh, huge following after the Rose Parade huge following um, but you got a lot of single-digit guys, you know. What's happening to Jeb? You know, when when do you pull a plug and just say, mm -hmm. you know what, this this pony ain't going well, anywhere? There's a lot of those Jebs. There are absolutely. I mean, the, some of them are still hanging in. Rick Santorum, I think, is still in the, in the running. And, really? Uh, yeah. So you know, you, you just like I said, when do you You're pull like, a plug? Please, at, please, yeah, at some point, right? right? Yeah. I mean. You, you got a machine keeping him alive, I think, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, let's, you guys are done. All right, I'm calling it. Yeah, yeah. Three o'clock, we're done. <laughs> Pull the plug. Right. So, uh, no, I, I think uh, Clinton is, uh, she, she's got a lot going on, and, and, and Bill came on board, and Trump was bashing him, and, and I'm thinking that... Uh, I just have such a hard time with the reputation he's had with other women in relationships, and the fact that she she's decided to stay married, and, and, and obviously feels that you know her marriage is important, but I, I don't think that's a great statement to women. Okay. I, I really don't. Okay. Well, he and I are not picking that one up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't. I, 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 well, here, here's it's the thing. It's more about power, staying together for power versus... He was, he was a good president. Bill was a good president, but, I mean, he just did some bad things, and, you know, it's just 
it's following them. Like, so, yeah. It's like the little cloud with pig pen, you know? Yeah, exactly. Would you stay in a relationship where somebody was, you know, routinely unfaithful or supposed well, to? Well, you know, they, they, they say if the relationship's there, you know, you should work things out and put things in the past. So, I don't know. It's, that's a tough one. There, there are a lot of different kinds of relationships out there. You know, people approach it from different ways, so maybe it, it works for them. So, yeah. will you come back tomorrow and we can talk about... If he says no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right, I'll be here. All right. <laughs> we'll close. How's that? Okay. Sounds good. All right, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. All right. Coming up, young or the young at heart? Yeah, we're promoting like, ourselves today. We have yeah. our very own Tammy Devine on, and she's going to be talking about some of the TV, yeah. TV news trainings. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Join us next. Your journey to a bright, healthy smile starts here at the Smile Agency. Dr. Karen Gwynn and her staff are experts in creating your dream smile. The Smile Agency offers braces, teeth whitening, and cutting edge technology that straightens teeth faster than ever. The Smile Agency helped me to have a brighter, whiter smile, and they can help you too. Visit thesmileagency.com and find out how we can help you get a beautiful, healthy smile for life.